Hi, I'm Kerry Lord from Toft. This video forms part of a series to accompany the Edwards Crochet kits, patterns and books. In this video, I'm going to be doing front and back post trebles. So this is um, effectively a crochet rib um, that I've used quite rarely. I've used it in, certainly in doll's hats and in uh, Linford's crest. Um, but I've not used it very um, commonly so far. It gives you a lovely texture, um, but it can be a bit tricky um, if you're new to doing trebles and um, if you're new to doing this stitch. So you can work it in the round and both in rows. I'm going to show you in rows, but exactly the same applies in the round. You just keep moving in one direction rather than turning. You'll be setting the stitch up first with a row or a round of treble stitches. So just to recap that treble before we get going, with a treble, you're going to do a yarn over first, then you're going to put your um, hook into the stitch and yarn over to the point where you've got three loops and you'll be going through the first two and then through the second two. So that's a treble stitch. And what we're going to be doing is all worked in treble stitches. So the first instruction is um, to work in a treble into the front post only. Um, so what we're going to do is go around the hook, so yarn over, front post you this is the post the treble stitch that's beneath me the post and it's the front post so we need to bring that post to the front so put your hook in round the back pulling that post to the front yarn over and bring that underneath to this point where you've got three loops as normal yarn over and come through the first two yarn over and come through the next two. Now I find that one a lot easier than the back post, which is what we're going to do now. So that's pulling that one to the front of the fabric. So now we're going to do the back post. So yarn over. Then we're going to be pushing this next one backwards. So it's the back post, we're gonna be pushing it backwards. So what we need to do is yarn over and we need to come in the back of the fabric here, push that backwards, yarn over and bring that through to the point where you've got three loops again yarn over and through the first two, yarn over and through the second two. So you've pushed that one backwards. So on to the next one, we'll do a front post one again. Yarn over, go underneath to pull this one forwards, bring it round through the first two, through the second two, and then back post, yarn over, we're pushing it backwards, remember, because it's the back post, so come in underneath, over the top of it, yarn over, to the point where you've got three, yarn over and through the first two, yarn over and through the remaining two. So we'll go to front post again, front post we're pulling it forwards, so we need to remember that we're going to be going in underneath, pulling it forwards, these two, and then a back loop one, over again, we're pushing it backwards, so come in underneath, there we go, to the point we've got three, first two, and remaining two. And what you get is a lovely rib texture because these ones, the front posts pull forwards and the back posts push backwards, and so it gives it a lovely rib texture. <laughs> 